Hi everyone, from my previous videos you've seen that I've got my Avanzato project car brought back home, running, and registered in my name. So what's the plan now? Well first of all I know for a fact that the exhaust is literally falling apart under the car and the prop shaft has a nice big crease in it. So both of those are going to need to come off and be sorted out. Secondly, given the horrible state of the engine oil, I don't have much faith at all in what the gearbox, transfer box and back axle might be swimming in. So those will need to be drained and refilled with fresh fluid. Brakes are something that I think probably just needs a service, new friction material and a bleeding through. I don't think there's anything seized so hopefully it won't be an intensive amount of work required there. Servicing is also going to be needed more generally. While I've already changed the oil to remove the crazy amount of sludge in the engine, as I said at the time, I'll be doing that again after the engine's been run a bit and the good fresh oil and filter have had a chance to help pull out any crud that's still in there. Plus, I'll be wanting to replace other standard service items like the air filter, fuel filter and the spark plugs. Luckily, the JBJL engine has a chain driven camshaft, so there's no cam belt to worry about. I need to get new tyres, the ones currently on the car are no cop whatsoever, but I'd really like to get the wheels cleaned up a bit beforehand. While it's obviously not essential in any way as a purely cosmetic exercise, it seems like it will be the best opportunity to do it. Other cosmetic work around the car is something I might do when I have a chance here and there to investigate the condition of the paintwork and so on, but it's not as much of a priority for me as getting the car ready to go through an MOT test, the UK's roadworthiness inspection for vehicles. I'll give the car a check over, see what bits I find that need sorting for that, but hopefully it won't be too much, I'll be able to put it in for a test and walk away with a road legal car. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's a bit of a list of jobs to do to get to that stage, and even by itself, a straight pass isn't the end of the project either. So, I hope you'll join me for the next episode, where I'll see quite how bad things look with that exhaust system.